Wonder Woman 1984 was a decent film. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a good continuation of the Wonder Woman story in the DCEU, but it wasn't a bad movie. It just wasn't a good movie, to say the least. Um, I'm going to go into further details about the film, but first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you'll indeed be notified for any videos like this in the future. And with that being said, let's jump right in to this awesome film review. Wonder Woman 1984 is a superhero movie starring Gail Gadot. Chris Pine, Christine Wig, Pedro Pascal, and Robin Wright. The movie runs for about 2 hours and 31 minutes, so it's not a very long movie. So the runtime of the movie is quite short, and there are some really good scenes in the movie that you could tell that there was something there that they just kind of messed around with. This movie just feels like they were just kind of playing with the Wonder Woman character, because there are a lot of great scenes, and then there's just a lot of filler in the movie that feels like it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, the whole plot of the movie is really stupid, to say the least. Like, the whole plot of this film is just garbage. But you do have a few scenes here and there that actually feels like this movie could have been something, and it just wasn't. Uh, the whole premise of the movie is basically a corporate bad guy, because we haven't had a lot of those in superhero movies. But a big corporate bad guy finds this magical stone and he uses it to grant everybody's wishes. And it all leads to some insanity, everybody goes crazy, the whole world goes into chaos because he's granting everybody's wishes just so they can feel powerful. Because later on in the film, they explain, way after all of this shit has happened, they make it a point to, to explain why he wants to be so powerful. It's because he was a kid and he was picked on and he was beat up. Boo-hoo, everybody was picked on when they were a kid. It's how life goes. <laughs> well, anyway, so the plot of the movie is he finds this stone, which is very ancient, and it allows you to wish for something that you want. However, it's got a monkey paw attachment to it. So you will get what you wished for, but you lose something in return. And it's a very interesting concept. It's just the movie didn't play it out the way it was supposed to be played out. There's many ways they could have played with this concept and made it work. They just didn't make it for this film. Now, of course, we have Wonder Woman's boyfriend returning in this movie, and that is explained through the stone, because Wonder Woman is the first person to make a wish with the stone, wishing that her boyfriend had died and that she could see him again. Um, even though she doesn't physically, you don't see her wishing for it, it's implied, um, which is awesome. We also get a character of Barbara Minerva, who is new to this movie, and she will eventually become the cheetah. But what she wishes for is to be popular, to be attractive, to be sexy, to basically, you know, be some somebody that people want to hang out with. And so she gets her wish at the cost of her losing most of her humanity. And I don't mean in the sense that she becomes this mindless person. She's still very much there. It's what she loses her nice nature. Because before she became in touch with the stone, before she wished for her wish, what she wished for, she was very nice. She was a very nice person. And then when she got her wish from the stone, she started becoming more distant from the people she'd become friends with. She started being more bitter and mean towards the homeless people that she'd spent years of her life becoming friends with. Um, which is very interesting character development for this particular character. And I, I liked it. I liked the introduction of the invisible jet in the in the movie because if you don't remember in the comic books, that was like Wonder Woman's vehicle is this invisible jet. And I love that they implemented that into the film. The thing I didn't like about the cheetah in this film though is for as big as an advertisement that cheetah was for this film, she didn't have a lot of screen time. There was already a statue up on Gallery Collectibles site for cheetah. There was Funko Pops, there was Funko Pop pens, there was so much advertising for this particular character, and the cheetah itself, yes, there was a lot of a lot of screen time for Barbara Minerva, who will later become the cheetah, but the cheetah itself had, like, what, 15 minutes screen time? 
So it would have been cool to see an actual cheetah fleshed out. And the only reason why she turned into the cheetah in the first place is because she got a second wish from Max Lord, who is the guy who wished that he could become the stone itself. So he granted her an extra wish, which turned her into the cheetah at the end of the movie. And for 15 minutes, we had an awesome fight between the cheetah and Wonder Woman in her gold armor. And then she changes back after Max Lord renounces his wish. Now, the renouncing its wish, his wish scene was one of the best scenes in the film, I have to say, because Max Lord throughout the film is growing distant from his son and everybody else. All he cares about is his business. He wants to be popular. He wants to be relevant. Now, as he becomes distant, he becomes more bitter towards everybody around him, even his own son. And so at the end of the film, when Wonder Woman is telling Max Lord about how his what he's done has affected everybody else in a negative way, he sees what he's done and he realizes that his son's in danger. And this is enough to snap him out of his power hungry craze so that he goes down and says to his son I'm sorry sorry for what I've done I'm I'm a terrible person but like one of the mistakes that uh, I've made out of a thousand you are not one of them and so th 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 that's a really good moment and it almost made me cry but that's what this movie missed it missed a lot of good stuff that could have gave it potential the movie itself the plot with the wish stone didn't really pan out the way it was supposed to and therefore, it felt like a very silly plot because they didn't know how to make it work. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this movie. I thought it was an okay movie. It definitely doesn't compare to the original masterpiece that was the original Wonder Woman movie. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Do take care and Happy New Year.